Let me tell you a story. It's no ordinary tale. It is the tale from which every other story hails. It is the story of God. It's the story of history. And I'm not the author. No, the author is a glorious mystery. See, long before he would put his pen to the paper, long before there was time or before there was matter, he was there, all alone. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God in three persons, everlasting in existence, completely satisfied, needing absolutely nothing. He was happy in himself and his joy was overflowing. The Son in the arms of his holy righteous Father, the Spirit overshadowing, all glorifying one another. So why would this God even bother to create? As the fountain of all happiness, can you improve upon this state? Will the joy within himself welling up in such capacity was so full it must be shared with a glorious society? So the mighty author, quill in hand, to share his infinite mind, his love, his joy, sat down to write his once upon a time. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He made all things to reflect his beauty and his worth. Mountains, rivers, oceans, trees, all gladly testifying. Endless stars and galaxies declare his glory shining. He made it all and it was good. And to culminate his work, he fashioned man and breathed to life his special ball of dirt. Man came to life with blinking eyes and was welcomed by God's face. They walked together every day and night and there was peace and no such thing as shame. God said, be fruitful, fill the earth and eat from any tree except for this one because if you do you'll surely fall from me now why do this and give this choice because he is writing a story and he's about to show the whole world the fullness of his glory conflict enters early on in the script with the snake in the garden doing what he was best at running his lip flash back to when this evil was created he was an angel of heaven who fell when his head got inflated Banished from God and from his endless mercy, he came down to earth to tempt us with the unworthy. So there in the garden on an ordinary day, he came to the woman and said, Did God really say that you should not eat from every tree in the garden? He must not want your happiness or you would have total freedom. So pridefully they listened and sinfully they took and scorned their creator and ate forbidden fruit. Fallen now is all mankind, and surely to face his judgment, a world of pain, of toil and strain, and hell forever after. But God would make a promise to preserve himself a people, and through the brokenness of man, oh, could there shine a hero? A child, to be born the Savior, that would save the world from their sins, the offspring of the virgin's womb, the Christ, God's own Son.